There's one crucial tip that you need to know that's going to help you climb the ranks in Eternal Return. What's poppin' everyone, it's your boy Levi, and the first tip I'm going to give you is the biggest tip that's going to make the biggest difference in your play, and that's having a game plan. Having a game plan is the single greatest tip I can give you for climbing in Eternal Return, or really any game that has a competitive scene in it. Specifically, you've probably heard Eternal Return described as a game that's the ultimate speedrun simulator. Timing is everything, from the first box you open to the final zone. Everything you do and everywhere you go needs to be done with a purpose. You shouldn't ever be wandering around the map trying to figure out what to do next. In the early game, you need to know what loot clusters you're going to take and what route you're going to take and what happens if you don't spawn in the spawn that you want. In the mid game, you need to know your hunt rotations and food recipes. And towards the late game, you need to know what transitions you're going for. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do a video on how to create your own game plan for each game. Of course, you're not going to be able to do that every single game the same way. The zone you need might be open one game and closed in the next. You also need to know how to adapt to the current situations of the game and how to get back on track of your game plan if you have to deviate. Which brings me to my next point. You need to know your character well. Get a good feel for it. This is a tip specifically for lower elo 2. Learn the character that you play and learn it well. If you're mechanically good with your character, you'll be able to get away with a lot more in the lower elo. You don't have to have the best macro. At some point this will catch up to you though, so don't rely on it on trying to outplay your opponent every single time. When I say know your character, learn how to fight with your character. Not every matchup is going to be fought the same way. If you play a character like Nikki or Hyunwoo or Sua, these characters have spells that rely on you to react to what your opponent does. Learn what the threatening part of other characters are so you can use those abilities effectively. And learn the limitations of your character too. You might hear it called limit testing a lot. Know when your character just has a bad matchup against another character. There's no shame in walking away from a fight that you have a bad matchup in. It's probably unwinnable anyway. It's the smart play. And accompanying knowing your character, you should also learn your routing really well. And I don't just mean what zones you have to go to. Learn how to path through each zone. What's the fastest route you can take to get your full build? What walls can you hop over to save time? When are you going to have too many items in your inventory? And which items should you drop? And what won't be stolen by other players? When do I need to pick up rocks for glass bottles or branches for my hairband? Where am I routing are my flowers? When and what do you need to spend your credits on? These are all questions you should be able to answer from memory if you know your routing well. I know it sounds like a lot to remember, and routing does change sometimes with the patches, but eventually it will become muscle memory. It will help you route faster and you'll be a step ahead of your competition. And along your routing, you need to learn what food recipes can be made on your route. Burgers are good food, but a lot of the time they aren't the best food that you could be making. A lot of routes have good food options too. If you're on a hospital cemetery route, you know that's mocha bread. If you're on a temple dock route, that might be garlic ramen. Also, if your build has something like Chang Pao in it, you probably won't need SP drinks right away. Chang Pao leaves you at 5 flower liquor, which is more than enough to get you through the early game, especially considering the characters that build Chang Pao usually aren't SP hungry. This is a bit of a more advanced tip, and it doesn't have to entirely be on memory, but learn emergency food recipes. Emergency food is what I call food when the game's getting close to the end of the game and there may not be many zones left. You just had a big fight and you ate all your food. Learn a few recipes that don't use a lighter. This used to be a more prevalent thing back in the earlier seasons of Eternal Return. Now it's sort of been nullified with the use of credits. If you've made it to the late game and you're not calling in transfer drones for transitions, you should use your excess credits on food and cameras. Yeah, you can call in lighters and oil, but if you don't have the credits, you'll want to learn some recipes that don't require them. And the last tip I have for y'all is to use the practice tool. It's your friend. I get it, it's not fun to practice by yourself sometimes, but gaining LP is fun, right? Get in practice tool, practice your routing, practice learning the limitations of your character, what walls you can go over, etc, etc. The good part of practice tool is that you can spawn things in, like Wick and Androids. This is a super helpful tool because you can practice pulling these off the spawn and learning how far you can take them. Take a look at where I pull Alpha when it's in the uptown spawn. I pull it all the way around the wall and into beach without resetting the timer. You can take alpha here, and a lot of the times your opponents won't realize you pulled it into beach. Or learn how your character takes wick. Spawn wick in and see what's the best way to take it. Whether you have to pull wick a few times or you can just burn it all down in one go. And that's all the big tips I have for you. If you've learned something, maybe leave a like. Some more general tips I can give you are things like have patience when you play. Not every night is going to be a huge LP gain. You'll have off nights where you don't gain any LP. You're not hard stuck in your elo, just relax and pick up the game on a different thing, and watch other people's replays. Spend a bit of time watching replays or streams is a great way of learning. Watch replays for higher ranked people that play the same character as you. See what they're doing and mimic some of the strategies into your own play. Watch your own replays. 
If you lost a close fight where you feel like you did everything right, go back and see where the little mistakes are. Did you eat your food too late? Did you cancel an auto attack? Did you get hit by a skill that was probably dodgeable? All in all, this game comes down to how much you can remember and eventually convert to muscle memory, and then how quick you can apply it in various situations. If you liked the video, leave a like and comment below one thing you learned that you're going to apply for your next game. Thank you so much for watching, and be sure to click the card in the end screen for more discussion type videos on Eternal Return.